Hi, Carol here, and welcome to my craft room this morning. And it is a beautiful 60 degree day already, and it's it's not even nine o'clock. It's just amazing. Uh, we had snow, a blizzard, four days ago, and now we, it. I mean, we're thinking of going for a Harley ride. It's absolutely beautiful. Snow's gone, 60 degrees, and uh, you know, could get up to 64 degrees today. Amazing. So I want to get working on this project. I have. The hat box. Look at these nails. I thought, oh, my granddaughter's going to laugh at these. Look at all of the um, diamonds that I did all the way across. You don't want to hit anybody with these nails because you'd have to carry band-aids. It's terrible. <laughs> had a little time on my hands yesterday afternoon in between waiting for things to dry here. So here's where I am. I put the back on. I distressed it with some uh, forest moss distress ink on the edges. I thought this was nice. I chose to do the the crystal boggles as legs instead of the wooden hearts. Um, I don't know. I just thought I'd give it a little bit of elegance. And if you want to know how to measure for legs, just set your ruler like this and look at your lines on the top. Place them properly and then just put your boggles down with your E6000. I bought the little tubes and I love it for projects like this because you're not holding uh, honking big tubes and the, you know the glue's coming out and you can't stop it and you end up with a mess. Those tiny ones are really nice. I got them at Michael's. Okay, so I put my paper on with the little dragonflies on it. Isn't that cute? Just subtle, subtle. And the reason why I ended up putting this trim, this uh, pearl trim with the hearts, is because I distressed the edges here with the ink, and it looks like it has this plastic coating on it, and every time you touch it, your fingers end up with um, ink on it if you touch in here, and then you go to put something in here, and before you know it, you know, you've got uh, marks all over. So just take whatever you're going to if you're going to do a trim and hold your project like this and then put it on because then you can you know guide your glue gun better than trying to do it like this I wanted the heart tips to touch the bottom like that and uh, what else do I want to show you so I put some of the a dollar store runner I think it was uh, three dollars I'm not sure that runner but I'm getting a lot of use out of it Here's the lid. I put the frill already on it and underneath you want to match your uh, papers, right? It just looks nice if this frill comes up uh, that it matches this. So I did not turn it in because I like the blue. I like the blue and the green to match the inside of the box. And I'm thinking of putting some cheesecloth around here but we will see how far I get. Now on the edges um, here, to reinforce your seams that meet with your paper, that's where I like to use the Martha Stewart, any punch that you like, but I like this lace punch. And I just measure it this way, do either side with the punch, allow a quarter of an inch so it matches perfectly because everything else is a quarter of an inch and then you're securing your edge and it won't separate because that's where you meet. The same as over here. I wanted to secure it because I did two half sheets of paper going across. So you've got that nice lace look. It will secure your uh, where you meet your papers and it looks nice. Okay so there's the bottom. I think I explained all of it there and now we're working on the lid. The reason why you don't want to go over, that's what I was going to tell you if you're, you know, if you haven't altered a box or worked with paper altering, I've learned this from my own mistakes. On the lid, try not to put too much folding over because you take a, you add bulk and then when you go to put the lid on, it won't fit. Remember I did a project back when, I don't know what it was, I can't remember, but that's what I did and the lid had too much bulk and I had to take it apart. So here's how it looks now. Isn't that pretty? And then if you lift it up, it matches. The greens match. The crystal legs, the bottom, I think it came together wonderfully. Now I don't want to leave it like this. 
I want to put some bling on here. And I know I fought with this yesterday on what to do, whether to leave it. So, you know, because it does look nice. It looks like it, it's all even up in here. But I don't know. I might regret this, but I liked the idea of putting this uh, on here. And that is that beautiful trim. And it has the, uh, these are little um, sequins on there. And then it has the pearls. And I thought it would match the pearls here. You know, you can go clean and simple. I don't know. Honestly, I struggled with it. But I thought this would look nice there. And then bring the flowers over to touch like that. And it sparkles. It's really pretty. I mean, either way, it's going to be nice. So I think I am going to do it. If I do it, I mean, once you go with it, you can't tear it off. So you just have to run, you know, run with that idea. You don't know how many times I held this up. And I picked this U right here of little pearls. If you can get away from staring at these crazy nails. Um, to be right there. And... Let me do this. What do you think? I wish you could scream through the... I don't know. It's pretty either way. And it's pretty just left alone. You know what I'm going to do on this project right here? I think I am going to... Um, oh, I was going to say start the other one and then wait for some comments, some feedback on whether I should put that on. But sometimes you just have to make some corporal decisions here. And this is one of them. And I think I really do like the idea of having this. Mm, oh, I like that flower there too. Okay, let's meet the middle. Let's go in the middle. We want to get the middle because we're going to meet over there. Okay. So if I went like this... I'm doing it. All right, once I get the glue on there, that's it. Here we go. So, it's on there. Can't go back. Can't go back. Hold it on there. There we go. Hold that. Yeah, that looks pretty. Now, there's another thing we could do. We could just, we could cut them out and just put the flowers going around. We could do that. No, you know what? I'm going with it. Here we are. Bend this down. And you don't want a ton. You really don't. You want enough to secure it but not a ton. I'm going to fold this down so you have to make compensation for that. See how this is It's just perfect. I'm glad I did it. Thank you. See? I really did stare at this and stare at this and stare at this last night trying to decide whether, you know, sometimes less is more. And I know that. That way I can bend this over and put them on there. Yeah, I think that's nice. Okay. This is good. And then you want to place your glue on the leaves, right? Wherever you're not going to see it. everybody had a good weekend. I did. Oh, but you don't want to do that. You want to go on here. We're not in a hurry. Here's what I, here's my, um, I want these V ones to be even. So as I go around, when I get to the next V, I just make sure it's even with the lace like that. 
that's my plan hope you can see that and I want to get this uploaded because you know it takes hours it just takes hours to upload things to the on YouTube let's turn this around I don't want to take the lid off and do it because this gives me some height really pretty. I'm liking the way this met right there. really like it. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Okay, let's see, and this will finish this one up and then we can start the uh, hat box. See how that met right there? awesome. Then I can fold that over and it'll be nice. And with this pattern you don't have to worry where you start. Another thing. I'm just releasing some glue wherever. you're going to be pleased with seeing this that I did this it's subtle enough and it's very very dainty very vintage shabby chic and that's what we're going for right there we are a little bit at a time And then we'll cut it right there. How's that on this wing? Right there. Ah, awesome. There. Okay. Save that and this in my little bucket I have over there. And I even saved this. I might need that. Who knows? Okay, let's see. What do you think? Now, we're going to go around and we're going to lay this out. I don't want it sticking up like that. I want it to lay down. So, just grab a little bit, a little bit of glue, not much. And... Very nice. Tiny bit of glue. Ever so tiny. Just enough to lay it down. Let me see if I can move in a bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Just really tiny piece of glue. And then if it concerns you to see it, which you can hardly see it, you can put a little sequin or something on there. I'm not concerned. I think it looks beautiful. So just take a little bit there, a little bit there. And fold it over. Really is pretty. I said that a thousand times combination of the green and blue is nice. Just a little bit. Whoa. That's one of my little... This would be nice. There we go. And on this one, I am not going to glue it down in there. I'm going to turn it right around and just do this one. Little strays you can catch. 
catch later the little spider webs there. We're almost done. Isn't that pretty? And we'll move on. I think it's nice to have oh, three things that match, don't you? I mean, you could give it to three different people. Nobody's the wiser unless you make a video, right? <laughs> uh, somebody gets it and says, hey, where's the rest of my stuff? <laughs> uh. There we are. Came right up. I didn't even have uh, my breakfast yet. I wanted to get moving on this. really pretty it adds to it, it really does it, it does not uh, it's like clean and simple cards I find them hard and it's the same as this I find it hard just to know when to stop and leave it clean and you know elegant but I think this was a wise decision on there I like it I really do so there you have it we have show you. Let's take it back. The middle met with this nice flower. This falls. And then you can grab all of your little webs later. Isn't that pretty? Let's move it out. Whoa. There we are. Let's take the lid off. And there you have it. I think you can see it easier like that and you know what I like about this too it takes away from the stark white it just adds a, even though this is white it you know there's different whites whites check out my laundry you'll know that <laughs> here's different whites <laughs> uh, yeah you never end up you have a nice white shirt and you start you know whatever a few washes and you have a nice uh, off-white shirt how does that happen in that washing machine I don't know but uh, anyway so let's just scan this while I have I won't prolong the video I'm just going to show you that it's finished um, the only thing I think okay so here we go here's the lid here's the lid all finished You've got your matching paper underneath there. I, I met it at the end. I left the trim that's originally on there so that it would fit beautifully on the box without any problem. Look at that. I matched the inside to the pattern here. Add some ribbon to match the bottom. It's nice and, uh, you know, I really like that uh, paisley. Really nice. You've got your blues. Distressed it with the uh, distress ink around the edges. Use the glass. Um, where did I get these? I'm trying to think. In case you want to. I think they were at Michael's. And here's the smaller version of the of those ones. They, that might have been a bracelet that was on sale and I took it apart. But the David Tatura, the diamond charms, you can use these as well. And they come in all sizes. But I think this was a bracelet. And then I just cut it apart to use it for legs at Michael's. So there you have it. And it's really pretty to have the blue showing through. You're not going to get that ink on your fingers because it's going to touch on the heart. The heart's going around there. Okay, so I have my only decision here is do I put anything on here? So let me see. I cut it out already. It's right it's right here. And this is at the dollar store in the kitchen department, your cheesecloth. And this is what I was going to do. I was just going to meet it up here and let it fall and then cut it off. Let me see. Like this. Um, 
No, I don't think I am going to do that. I'm going to stop there. Okay, so one project is finished and we're going to move on to the next. Let's take one more look at it. There's the inside. There's the bottom. Like that. I'll take some pictures. This is ready to go out as a gift. I think it's nice and clean on the top. And I'm really thankful for my living room pillow. It's my couch pillow that sacrificed its innards so that I could have this poofy thing on top here. So that was nice that it did that. And I sewed it up and nobody's going to, I mean, nobody know, no, nobody's the wiser. And there you have it. Really pretty. I am happy. You can tell. When a project works out, it works out. I'll take some pics. Now the next one, this hat box is going to look identical, but it's going to be round. Here we are. This is the large one that I am going to do next, and then we'll get to the uh, lamp shade. I love doing lamp shades, altered lamp shades. I love it. I can't get enough of them. So um, it makes a beautiful gift, and it's not hard to do at all. The worst part for me is picking out, uh, you know, picking out the what you're going to use on it because I don't know I just think this looks gorgeous you know when you do a project <laughs> it's like you buy a gift for somebody you, oh I'm going to buy that sweater for my daughter-in-law and then I keep it because because <laughs> I like it and that's awful isn't it yeah I'm not going to keep this though I want to because I really like it and uh, I'm going to have to just do production a lot of them. I'll just sit one night and just do, I mean they're, they're a dollar, I think a dollar fifty for this box. And uh, there's a close-up. Really nice. Okay, so I'm going to see on the next video. I'm going to keep it short. Let's just put that up like that. Isn't that nice? We'll put the camera so you can see down in there how it matches. How they match. Isn't that pretty? I'm really pleased. I'm pleased. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Put that on, and I hope my friend likes it when she receives it. Uh, them, because they're going to be matching. There we are. Okay, you have yourself a blessed day. I'm going to enjoy my 60 degree weather, and I'm going to get everything cut out for this box because the paper, doing altering with paper is a lot of fun, and I enjoy this. I'm going to go, I'm going to buy me some uh, batting. Nice roll of batting so I can do a whole lot of these. I like them. Okay, have yourself a blessed day.